have a new book to tell you about today. I just loved it. It's called The Great Peach Experiment, When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Peach Pie. And it's a story of a family with the last name of Peach, um, Lucy, Freddie, and Herb, and then their father. Their mother has passed away several years ago with cancer, and they are still dealing with the grief, especially their father. Their father comes home one day and announces for summer vacation, they are going to take a food truck out and sell. Why? Because that was a dream that their mother always had. And he just got a bonus because his wife was an inventor and something has been sold and they made a million dollars. So they're going to take the summer off. And then they gather together and decide, well, their last name is Peach. Let's make pies, peach pies, and they make all kinds of other pies. The the story is fun because the author, Erin Soderbergh Downing, is from Minnesota. I have read some of her books in the past and have enjoyed them. This book starts out near um, Duluth, and one of the first things that they do is they go to Betty's Pies. You know, if you're from Minnesota and you're in the Duluth area, you always stop at Betty's Pies when you're going to the North Shore and they check out all the pies and decide what kind of pies they want to make. Um, and then they continue on in the Midwest, going to different food truck festivals and places to sell pie. And it's, let me just tell you, it's a lot of work. They have to learn how to make pie. The story reminded me of a experience that I had when I was in college. I was helping out my aunt and uncle. They were farmers. Um, grain farmers in North Dakota. And so I was taking care of their children for a couple of weeks and cooking for them. Now I was a home economics major in college. And so when my grandfather came with a lug of peaches and said, would you make peach pie? I said, sure, but you know, my mom was the expert on peach pie making. So I didn't um, really know how to make peach pie. So the, the elementary students that I was taking care of, they were two um, fun kids. We made our first batch of pie crust and threw it away because it was terrible. But we ended up making a dozen peach pies. We got good at making pie crust. And then the funny thing is my grandfather was so proud. He took those pies and he delivered them to all kinds of people in the neighborhood. And I don't even know if I even got to try the peach pie. So I connected with that as well. There's just so many things about this book that I loved. I love family stories um, and I love funny stories, and I would consider this story more elementary for middle grade, but elementary, not necessarily more middle school. And I look forward to the books that come in the future. So anyway, as you take this journey, it's kind of like a road trip, but in a um, food truck, you're going to explore what happens, what funny things happen, what interesting things happen, and do they really make it when they are selling peach pies. So the next book I believe is going to have something to do with the new adventure and I look forward to each and every one of them. I'm going to rate this a five just because I connected with this book in such a great way and sometimes that's how you love books is because you find some connections. So um, I highly recommend The Great Peach Experiment When Life Gives You Lemons Make Peach Pie by Erin Soderbergh Downing. Happy reading everyone! And teachers, if you stay to the very end, I just wanted to tell you that um, what I loved about this book too is that the little girl, Lucy, is going into seventh grade and her teacher gives her a summer assignment. They have to read two books on the reading list. And it's a long list. It's this page and then the next page. And what was so delightful about it is I've read almost all of them. They have good new books on the list. So, hey, you know, check this book out and see how many books you have read because they're really great. The other thing that's neat about this book is that um, Freddie likes to draw. And so he will often do um, a drawing, kind of journal-like drawing. Here's one where he dreams of what he would do or what happens. It's from his sketchbook. And I just think that's just a great example for you if you are doing journaling with your students to go ahead and um, have them journal like Freddie has journaled. Um, there's pictures along the way that show the map of the Midwest and where they're going. Um, again, I just thought this is such a well done book and I look forward to 
other people reading it and telling me what they think of it. So highly recommend The Great Peach Experiment by Aaron Soderberg Downing. When life gives you lemons, make peach pie. Happy reading. Thank you.